welcome to my channel on the best of fantasy. Today, I am reviewing The Severing Sun, book one of the Sundered Nation trilogy by Von Roycroft. There will be no spoilers in this review. However, there will be a cover reveal. The arc that I am holding now does not have the actual cover. And in this video, after I have finished reviewing the book, I will give you a glimpse of the magnificent cover of The Severing Sun, which is coming out in mid-October. And if, Vaughn, if you watch this, please leave a comment uh, letting us know exactly when in October, and I'll pin that comment so people can know when to pick up The Severing Sun. Now let me just get right to the point. This is one of the best self-published fantasies that I have encountered thus far. Fans of the Banished Lands, Westeros, and the Omehi Peninsula get ready to journey to Dania. With its fast pace and its sweeping battle sequences, not to mention one of the best duels in fiction. The Severing Sun will appeal to action-hungry readers of writers like John Gwynn, George R. R. Martin, and Evan Winter. There is also some very memorable and endearing character work with a cast led by Valdan and Ilan. Roycroft successfully injects conflict within his characters, putting them in situations where they must make painful decisions that change the course not only of their fates, but the fates of their people. There is friendship, there is lust, there is love often formed in the crucible of battle. There is vengeance and there is glory, both coming with a cost. And there is courage and loss and there is meaning that arises with the bonds that the characters form with one another throughout the course of the story. Dania is reminiscent of early Germanic tribes with the Gotari not only sounding like the Goths, but feeling a bit like them as well. There are also the Amazonian Skolani, a warrior culture of women in alliance with the Gotari, together forming the Teutona peoples, and probably Teutona also is by no accident reminiscent of Teutons, the Roman name for the Germanic tribes. There are also some villainous outsiders, uh, the Carpens and the Spali, and they are certainly less fleshed out, but there are some hints of past and present crises that might be what's driving them. And there are indications that the trilogy is going to move on to some older, more sophisticated civilizations with imperial pasts as the scope widens. So I expect something perhaps reminiscent of the Roman Empire in its waning days. But we shall see in book two, which I am incredibly excited to read. This has been one of my, the most enjoyable reads of the year. I really enjoyed The Severing Sun, and I encourage everyone to give it a try. Uh, it is, as I said, one of the best self-published fantasies that I have encountered since I started reading self-published fantasy. And now, without further ado, let us take a look at the glorious cover of The Severing Sun. And here it is, everyone. Take a good look. Having read the book, I can identify some of the characters. I won't say the names, though. I don't want to give any spoilers here. But let me just say that having read the book, I also was very excited to see the cover, to see some of my favorite characters from the story portrayed there. And that is my review of The Severing Sun. If you are looking for a worthy self-published fantasy writer to support, I encourage you to go out, 
and give the Severing Sun a try once it becomes available in mid-October. And that's it from me for now. Until next time.